The Florida Aquarium is once again making it possible for Florida kids to play in the snow. Megan Fellner joins us with details on snow days. It's back. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am well. Uh, you know, it's so funny because I feel like there's so much stress, you know, for, for a lot of people put on Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas. But the 26th rolls around and you're like, Okay, now what do we do? Yes, the family's still in town and the kids are getting restless, want to get out of the house, so it's mm -hmm. the perfect time to come to the aquarium and enjoy the snow. So yeah, we're talking official snow, <laughs> not like cotton, not anything, you know, that's artificial. Explain how you're able to do it. Yes, it's real snow, so we have a company that comes and puts snow all in our outdoor deck, and they come and refresh it every morning so there's fresh snow, and the kids just love it. Um, a lot of our kids are from Florida. <laughs> uh, Florida natives have never seen snow, so they can come and play and see what it feels like, and it's actually pretty warm out, so. It's kind of interesting. I love looking at this footage right here because you do you see the little girl with like a short sleeve shirt on, which yes. like would not fly, you know, being up north. Exactly. So I noticed too that you can see uh, we saw some snow angels. Looks like a snowman. All the fun activities you normally can do in snow, you can do there. Yes, we just uh, ask snow snowball throwing. So we try to uh, get it to be a fun and friendly snow event. <laughs> By the way, I didn't realize we were looking at otters. <laughs> so so we're we're having a chuckle in here. So. Of course, the otters are having fun. I know that's something, yes. though, that's that's normal. They tend to have fun. And uh, yes, we give the otters some snow too, so everybody gets to play in it. Um, it's you know pounds and pounds of it, so we got to share the love and give a little bit to our animals as well. And when you say everybody, <laughs> I love that you really mean everybody because this is a great way, even for sensory. What do we call sensory special kids who sometimes, you know, get a little overloaded with stimulus? Yes. There's a way they can enjoy it too. Yeah, so we have a sensory snow day too. So kids with sensory differences can come and enjoy the snow in a low, um, very quiet and chill environment. I like, because you say it can get pretty crazy. Oh, absolutely. It's like we're, there's a line all the way out the door to snow days. So having this special time um, when it's not so overwhelming for mm -hmm. our children with those differences can come and enjoy. I, I really love that you do that for all kids to have fun with it. Let's go ahead, let's talk hours, and then also let's look ahead to, uh, to 2020. Yep, so we, uh, with your general admission ticket, you can get access to our snow, and we start our snow in the afternoon, um, and then you can enjoy the aquarium, enjoy the snow. Uh, we also have Polar Express playing at our 40 theater, so that's a great opportunity. Enjoy the holiday fun. I really like that it's like continuing after the holiday. I think exactly. this is such a great idea. Yeah. And again, moving ahead to 2020, anything you're looking forward to most? Well, it's our 25th anniversary coming up, so we have a lot of surprises uh -oh. in store, so stay tuned, but the 25th is going to be really great. Okay, well again, in the meantime, go have fun in the snow, make those snowmen, make that snow angels, all at the Florida Aquarium. Megan, it is always such a treat to have you on the show. So nice to see you. Thank you, and we did well. Look at yeah. us in our red and green. Red and right? green. <laughs> Take care. Okay? Thank you.